My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a new beer. I apologize. I committed. I mean, it just seems like it's getting increasingly harder to be, become a student in London. Uh, they're just increasing the costs. Even like uh, the accommodation costs are rising. Yeah. A lot of yeah, the, income, the accommodation costs have always been amazing to me. I mean, we're living in London, so we're in the capital city, so they, they think it's, uh, it's it's reasonable to pay a lot of money for. Uh, I remember in the first year that I lived in student halls. Did you? I lived in uh, Emily Bowes Court. I think I was paying about £170 a week uh, for an ensuite bathroom, but it was a shared kitchen. Uh, and it's just, it's just an insane amount. Where is Emily Bowes Court? Uh, it's uh, wow, it's Tottenham Hale, so it's in the north. God damn! I lived just up the street at Man Ash. Yeah, and that was one fifty back in the day. Now it's like one seventy five. I was getting a bad deal. Like I think one hundred and seventy. I think that might be because I was, uh, I was I had like a few extras allocated on you know winter now whatever it was. But I, and then and then I went. I was intending because although it was expensive, I was happy with where I was living. I was going to do it for the second year, and then they hiked the prices up further. I was like, no, I've got to go. I need to go live elsewhere so uh student student accommodation is just one of the many downsides of being in london isn't it it's just it's just yeah. incredible i mean I, I reported a story on the carbuncle cup like uh being awarded to a student hall so being the worst building in the uk how and how does attention being drawn from all the other buildings that are so ugly yeah. in the uk i mean the strata building that is the ugliest <laughs> building I've ever seen in my life. I mean, like, ugly doesn't have to be about, like, design. It could be just about how how the living conditions are, because, like, yeah. it, it just looks like a prison over there, and you feel like you live <laughs> in a prison. It? Did you find it's out what, the, what it costs to live there? Yeah, it costs... Uh, the person I interviewed, he told me, like, he paid 200 pounds a week. 200 pounds a week? Yeah. Oh and what God. did he get? And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and basically, he lives like pretty far from campus, and the campuses that are, that are really close to the, like, uh, they're really close to the university. Uh, they pay much less, and the building's much better. Yeah. So it's really unfair. So what what's wrong with the rooms? Like, what is that? What the guy you interviewed? What do you say was wrong with the rooms? Well, he showed me the room. Yeah. Uh, it's just really dim. There's no sunlight, and. The buildings are placed so that uh, there's no privacy at all. Like, if you look out the window, you're just you're looking straight into someone else's room. <laughs> wow, that's so you have to keep <laughs> that has no set up. You, <laughs> you have to keep the blinds down because you don't want oh, this person God. looking at you all the time. That's like that that Friends episode, you know, where <laughs> Joey gets up every morning yeah. and he's singing to the guy in the other apartment. Yeah, no so idea. What's that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. When you go inside, there's like the security guard just like staring at you. You present your ID. And then you have this building, like where, where these four walls are just facing each other. It looks exactly like a prison. So is it like for two hundred quid a week? Oh my god! Is it? Is <laughs> there such a huge amount of money? Um, <laughs> and you're a student. I mean, like, do, yeah. do you have? So you imagine? just have a room, and you're sharing living rooms, and you're sharing kitchen and everything, isn't it? Well, it depends on what kind of uh, accommodation you're doing. What but was the person guy I interviewed? Yeah. He was just living on his own. Oh, okay, uh, and, and like there's a basement flooding. Yeah. So every time someone, in the home. yeah, in the ba <laughs> so so every time someone flushes the toilet above him or just turns on the sink, he hears this like weird rumbling noise. Wow. So Sounds even like when he's deal. sleeping, he's that's just, ridiculous. And did he sign a contract? Can he go? Um, or does he have to stay for a certain amount of time? Uh, I think he has to stay. He also told me. Uh, the, the university told him to, that's UC, UCL, they told him like you should come on September 15th so, because we have an orientation week. I was like okay and then he, he went there uh, and then they told him um, the building is under renovation right now so you can't move in. Wow. So and, like, uh, and then he was like, like wow. what can I do? I have nowhere to go. And they just told him good luck. Like, really? They, wow. Good luck, he didn't get compensated at uh, all. No, he's just... Oof. He had to like look for a hotel or something. That's obscene. So did he find one? Or? He, well, I guess he did. He's still, he <laughs> he's he's still around. around. <laughs> he told me he found a place to, where his friend was living at. So. Okay. But that's not a good sign. Like You can't just tell yeah. your students to come and then... No, that's... Is it way. just your L or is it the... It's UCL. Is it, is it, is it, no, but is it like just... UEL is different. Yeah. 
Is it just, yeah, but is it just, oh, so you wanted to go you visit? It was, well, it was uh, a different university. Okay. Yeah, the university calls them. Think of how awkward the, the moving in day is. Like, you moved in, you got your stuff, and you're like, right, I'll have a look around. Then you just <laughs> open the blind, and there's and some guy just staring at <laughs> you. Someone else moving in, yeah. just like, And this was like fuck? his first time, in, like, coming to study in London. Like, we, if you're coming to London, you'd be excited, like, wow, it's one of the best cities in the world. Come on, it probably was an American guy who just got, you know, got scarified three days, a uh, few days ago. He spent three days in London, and he got bitten on Great Brick Lane, and he has cows like all over his face. He got bitten. He got oh. bitten on Brick Lane. Bitten on Brick Lane. Oh, bitten. bitten. <laughs> Bad. The flies were there. They were everywhere. <laughs> I thought some dude just bit him. Like, I hate London. All the insects. <laughs> Those hipsters oh, on Brick yeah, Lane. Yeah. <laughs> White. <laughs> they beaten that young Asian guy. The why? Why they beat him? Just like. Like some like you know straight fight for like how you know because of how it probably and so American Chen coming to London three days after he just he just got his ass kicked by that. Wow. And well, I where mean, in America is he from? I've got no idea. I mean this, used uh, to this? <laughs> <laughs> this building that it was originally like refused planning consent because like it's not fit for living for for human beings. Yeah, I read but that in like, your wow. story that these they, people they are students. Like it, it wasn't good enough okay. for students. Wow, so what do they do now? What are these students? The no, students no, the, the, reason, the reason why the building was never brought up to scratch mm -hmm. is because, uh, from your story, it's because they deemed student accommodation, they deemed that students weren't as much as a priority as normal tenants. Yeah. <laughs> so they left the building B. <laughs> Which well, is thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. For my I feel so job. much better about myself. Actually, like, the reason they did it that way is because they're profiting from the building itself. Like they're using the building as a way to profit from the. Who the owns the building? Uh, it's Stephen and Firm. It's so, something like that. Stephen, Stephen and, and Stephen, Stephen, Stephen and George. Popular guys. Anyway, I'm Kyle. This is Talal. This is Lore. This is Jack. I'm Kyle. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. Everybody, wave. There All you the go. Way. The first one is done and out of the way. Yeah. <laughs>